Jamie Marisotis, president of the Lumina Foundation, thanks for joining Thank uh, me. Um, the administration has just uh, recently come out with uh, a pretty bold proposal, I think you'll agree, on to uh, rate higher education uh, institutions based on affordability and student success as opposed to prestige and money and some of the uh, uh, criteria that publications like US News tend to focus on. Um, and uh, uh, I, I wanted to ask you, first of all, do you think this is a good idea for the federal government to be getting into the rating game? Um, are, do, are, are, do you approve of it? Do you think it's a great idea? Are, is there anything that gives you pause? Yeah, I think greater transparency is always a good idea. So I think the rating system makes, makes a lot of sense. The question is, how are they going to really construct this? That's why they've given, they've given themselves 18 months to figure this out, which I think is wise. The second thing, and something that people aren't really talking a lot about yet, is really how is this information going to be used? I think when we develop these kinds of things, there's often a, if they build it, they will come mentality. And that's true with rankings, um, including the monthly's rankings, and that's true with, with a rating system like this. So uh, in my view, uh, the rating system is also gonna have to be applied. Consumers are gonna have to use it, and there's gonna have to be concerted efforts for consumers to use it. And to the extent that it's gonna inform or influence decision-making about resource allocation, the system is going to actually have to be used in order to be able to, uh, to allocate resources. And there's a, there's a lesson to be learned here from the states, which is states have actually had better data systems for public institutions for a long time. It doesn't mean that they've used these better data systems to allocate resources to public higher education institutions based on performance, based on outcome, until fairly recently. It was only when these concerted efforts around trying to develop these systems and actually use them and figure out which weights do you use, what do you really care about that's really important. So developing the rating system, I think it's the first part, it's important, I agree with that. But the second part is going to be, how's it going to be used? Because that's ultimately how you can change behavior. Now, is that about uh, the part of the administration's proposal that would tie federal funding to these outcome measures? Yeah, that's right. But a, a complication of this, of course, is that Unlike the state performance funding systems, which are allocation of resources directly to institutions for their operating expenses, what we're talking about primarily at the federal level is student-based uh, funding. Their so aid, student their aid. Pell Grants. Their, exactly. Their... Pell Grants, student loans, uh, uh, campus-based aid, et cetera. So in those cases, I think it's going to be important to figure out what are the effects on students? How do you make sure that you create greater incentives for the students themselves to succeed uh, to, to you know to to achieve the outcomes that we want and not penalize low-income students so there's there's things yet to be done here but I think this is a, a, a smart move great thank you for joining us thank you